When it comes to eating, most animals have it simple. They bite or chew their food, or perhaps even swallow it whole. After this, food is broken down by digestive enzymes within the stomach and intestines until becoming suitable to be absorbed by the body. When it comes to spiders, the process of eating and digestion is a bit more complicated. You may have heard it said that spiders only consume the juices or blood of the insects they eat. However, this is not actually true. In fact, what makes the spider particularly interesting is that unlike humans and most other animals, with spiders, the digestion process begins outside of their body. How this occurs, and what is left of their dinner afterwards, differs entirely upon the spider itself. Generally, there are two kinds of spiders, the wandering spiders and the web-building spiders. While both their anatomy is similar, noticeable differences are seen in the size of their eyes, types of legs, and jaws. Also, wandering spiders tend to be quite hairier than their well-shaven web-building counterparts. Now what does this have to do with eating habits and digestion? Well, it has everything to do with how the spider captures its prey, as well as how it chooses to slurp its bug soup. Most wandering spiders have serrated salicylate, or mouth parts. These are used to shred their food and create a soft and pulpy prey bolus. The venom of these spiders aid in shredding as its toxins help break down cell membranes of the insect they're eating. In contrast, web-building spiders often lack serrated salicylate, therefore rely on trapping their prey, injecting them with venom, and encasing them in webbing. The venom of spiders are kept in parts in the venom gland until mixed together in the venom ducts and injected into the prey through the fangs. Generally, spider venom consists of low MR polymines, polypeptides, and high MR proteins. It is important to note that while spider venom has the capacity to paralyze prey, or even break down the structural integrity of the prey's cells, the actual and digestive enzyme used to consume their prey is absent. Once their prey has been subdued, like this, or this, or perhaps this, both groups of spiders use digestive enzymes, namely the protease cysteine cathepsins, to liquefy their food. These enzymes are specifically designed to break down proteins and peptides of the prey, essentially turning the spider's food into a concentrated energy drink. Wandering spiders often spit these enzymes directly onto their prey and let it liquefy for a bit. However, they are also known for wrapping up their lunch and taking it to their desired mate as a gift to then slurp up together. How sweet! Meanwhile, the web builders pump their lunch full of these enzymes, suck up the juicy bug bits, then regurgitate the enzymes back into its prey. This happens for quite a while. Yummy! If you look closely, you can actually see the enzyme juices flow in and out of this spider's ex-husband. The ability for spiders to spit up these enzymes is made possible by their specially designed stomachs, called a sucking stomach. As the name suggests, this stomach is capable of creating a sucking motion to draw in its prey's liquefied remains, acting much like a rubber band, tightening and loosening as needed. The liquid prey is stored in its foregut, which are long, tube-like structures, until it is further digested in the midgut, or its intestines, then finally passed out of the hindgut. The spider's complex and unique processes of capturing, eating, and digesting food may seem nauseating to some. However, these complicated creatures help the environment by getting rid of pests like mosquitoes and flies, helping local farmers to keep invasive species from crops, and even keeping their own populations in check by eating their husbands 